Do you remember cruising before the whole internet thing came along? And then smartphones started with all the apps? Well, do you remember that? Do you remember cruising? Well, I do. Welcome to Sex Talk with Jojo Bear. I'm a somatic sex and intimacy coach, and welcome to the show. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe or check out my website at metamorphicembodiment.com. So, do you remember the olden days? When you had to step away from the television set on a Tuesday night, work was looming the next day, but you were horned up as hell and needed some relief? Those nights where you had to give yourself a bird bath and then throw on your butch gear and trek on down to the local arcade, park, or cruisy area? It took a lot of effort, time, and distance for some, but was it worth it? Some say yes. I certainly had fun. Now fast forward to the present. Everyone has a smartphone, laptop, and a tablet that can be downloading apps on so they can cruise multiple men in real time. The pros to having a portable cruising device is that you can connect literally anywhere. Connect in places that you would normally not have even considered before. It's a total game changer. But then the downside is that one has to deal with literally men who don't want to hook up or even connect, but have a conversation while they're at work or on the crapper. It's become this way for men to just chat with each other and not go anywhere. Now there's a balance that's not happening that's not really equal. Hmm, well let me explain. When you actually go out and cruise, you're actually using your whole body. You're physically in action, whether it's walking down the alley, hiking to the nude beach, or just doing the runway at the local bathhouse. You're in motion. There is an endorphin release that's happening. So therefore, you're using the whole body as a tool to enhance the pleasure. And you're actually physically in close proximity to other men. It's social interaction in the flesh. Whether it's the long glance, the five second turn as you walk down the street, or the acknowledging smile, it activates arousal and it makes the body feel good. Plus, it's fun! The whole art of checking someone out and admiring the features and just exploring them visually, all the senses come alive. It's electric. It's a practice that it used to be part of the hunt. It was the seduction of flirting, sometimes even really subtle, that allowed desire to grow. Now, I remember when I was a coming out as a teenager in Brooklyn, New York, I would go out with several of my other teenage friends to some of the local cruising areas. You know, strength in numbers, I say. Although you can get cock blocked by one of them. So be careful when you're hanging out with friends. I used to love the hunt of being cruised and cruising, and then maybe having the opportunity to sing out, single out one man that was on the top of my bucket list. There was this magic that happened if we both were in mutual attraction. The staring at each other, each longing glance lengthier than the last. Then one of us would break. One of us would end up going over to the other. I had always been a little more brazen in this art form, plus the fact for my, my intense attraction to shy men. The talk would happen in cruising anything is possible. The conversation could be about each other's features or about something even more sexy, but it was happening in real time, in the flesh. The excitement and anticipation was building right in front of each other. Now this could lead into many different scenarios, depending on the place. I used to haunt a little car park area off the the side of the Brooklyn Queens Expressway we dubbed the roadside. And sometimes the crews would end up in the bushes with both of our pants down to our ankles, or we went off to his place before his wife came home. But there was always this freedom and excitement that came from the frivolous play that came with cruising. 
Now, typically cruising has dumbed down. So many men are literally walking around with their iPhones down the street or on the subway, checking out Growler or Scruff or Grinder that they never see you in the flesh two feet away. The social real life connection has been blurred. The art form of cruising has been taken over by a quick instant gratification of cruising multiple men at once and being able to see everything about them in an instant. Maybe there's an argument with this that provides us more information to wait out the freaks. But there's something to say when you can actually physically check someone out in the flesh and your stories can unfold in a more organic way. So a couple of summers ago, I was in New York and I was walking around in Chelsea. I mindfully put my phone in my pocket to be in full awareness in my surroundings. And as I walked down 8th Avenue, this real attractive man walked by me. We both did the glance, the long stare. And as we passed each other, I counted to five and then turned around. And guess what? He turned around too. I stopped in my tracks. I leaned up against a building and guess what? He came over to me. His first sentence to me was, God, I haven't been cruised in a long time. <laughs> I smiled. I said to him, it's nice, right? So me and this 50 year old bearded architect and I had a little 30 minute conversation on the corner of 23rd and 8th Avenue. In between a lot of flirting and getting to know each other, we made a connection. Our schedules didn't work out perfectly, so we never really got to have that romp in the hay. But for me, it was more than that. It was the physical interaction with someone that we all need these days of being lost in the smartphone in our hands. So my challenge to you is to go out and shove that smart device in your man bag and get to practice cruising. You may be grateful you did. So do you have a cruising story? I mean, one that hasn't been created by the apps? Well, let me know. I want to hear what you have to say. So send me an email at sextalkwithjojobear at gmail.com or check out my website at www.metamorphicembodiment.com. Ciao for now. I will see you cruising the streets.